So we're back at Dandy Engines today and no LS or Ford, but we're actually testing a Chevy small block with Nathan Higgins from Higgins Racehead. Well, this is our new um, small block Chevy head and manifold combo again. Yeah. Like obviously we've done the LS with a head and um, you, manifold. You offer the LS head and or diff a lot of different heads, but an induction package we call it. Yeah, we've had the LS package for for a few years now, heads and manifold. Then the Ford come about, yep. Ford and Ford and heads, which obviously Dandy have um, Run in been running for a yep. long time now. And then I thought, well, the only next step is to have a Chevy. So Chevy. Now that was it. SP2. That's a common sort of terminology in motorsport for, for people that don't exactly know what that means what's the little bit of history on that head where, where, where's it from it's based off nascar nascar's ran it for the i don't know around 2000 to 2008 9 somewhere around there so it's, it's been around for a while but like your ford stuff this is a conventional head meaning it'll go onto a an aftermarket chevy block yeah, yeah for sure the, the one we're testing today so over the last two days we've been testing you know putting this through its um yeah, it's, had few, it's had a few pulls oh this one has right then that, that was the idea of this yeah. so this bottom end is is a it's a brodex block pep crank molinar rods off the shelf cp pistons everything's pretty much off the shelf that most people you might find in their cars yeah and this actual combination sort of your entry level in terms of it doesn't have a big port no, no, this one, this one is our smallest port. It's two, well, it's actually not our smallest port. It's our, I, I believe this one will be our best street car. It's best here. street, street. So it's head. a 2.8 cross-sectional area. It's got a, a small valve for an SP2 head. Yeah. And, and it's a 4150 manifold. Yes. Yeah. Not a dominator. It's yeah, so 4150. A, a smallish carby yep. on here, like perfect for a street. Perfect street for street. Yeah, this, this, this thing was showing over 600 uh, foot pounds at, before 5,000 RPM. Yeah, okay, okay. And it's consistently uh, turning um, over 850 horsepower. Yep, 850 before 7.5. Yeah. That's exactly what I made it to do. People do say an SP2 is a high revving, mm. high RPM cylinder head, but sized correctly, well, I've just proven that mm. you, you, know, you can turn it to 7.5 and make plenty. Yeah. What sort of camshaft have you, are you running in it? Camshaft, solid roller, yeah. it's only in the 260s. Okay, okay. So it's on, a, and I'll tell you, it's on a 109 um, load separation. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be offering this package in a, a couple of different variants? So with what we've got available now, we've got four different ports. Obviously, again, we've worked real close with um, Gail from GP Technologies in the States to sort all this out. So we will have from, say, 2.5 cross-sectional area all the way up to 3.5 cross-sectional area, maybe 3.6, okay. the biggest one. And you'll also offer this in a 40, 4500? Yep, 4500 will come full CNC ported inside. You can do all this in house now, can't you? Now with our DMG machines we have, everything's done. Rocker cover, even, even these even nice the, fancy gold rocker covers. beautiful rocker covers, I like the colour selection, yeah. Nathan. So, so there's just something different. Hey, black's black, you get sick of it after a while. Well, in recent uh, times it's good to see more Aussie manufacturing doing well. Well that's, that's hopefully, you know, well I started this a long time ago, so. Mm. It's taken a long time. So the SB2 architecture, what was the reasoning with going with that design? The main reason for the, the, the pick in the SB2 head was the layout of the inlet runners. How they all point, well all four runners point to the carby, the centre of the carby. So the distance from the carby to the valve is the shortest. The line of sight is near perfect or as good as you probably can get. Whereas let's say the Ford or the LS, it's, it's symmetrical and you're always going to have Oh, what I would say a, a bad port on on one side or the other side where this is it's pointing to the pointing to the center of the carving and it's the shortest distance okay. so that's probably why they um, seem to make the most torque most horsepower of you know any head out there well there's got to be a reason why they use them in NASCAR yeah oh 100 mm. percent I believe there wouldn't be an 18 15 13 degree head that could get close to these okay. unless yeah, you know, you've spent you know twenty, mm. thirty thousand dollars. You remember this package is going to be offered up out at around yeah. six thousand yeah. yeah. dollars. So that's unheard of, you know, for this kind of package. And like this, I've is, heard this of, is off the shelf, isn't it? What you yeah. see here is what the customer will get. This is all off yeah. the shelf. Like I've heard of customers, you know, twenty, twenty-five thousand from America for this for similar package. End. Yeah, wow. Well. All right, well, let's fire this thing up and let's see what she sounds like. Yeah, like the last couple of days we've been giving it a, giving it a caning thanks to Dandy Engines. So 
So we mainly, mainly, mainly the last couple of days, mainly just to make sure that the, everything's fine, like the heads are fine. This, so this is really more reliability. Yeah, it's testing, all reliability. It? We haven't touched the uh, rockers with a, with feeler gauges, but we've obviously checked them and they have not moved. Yeah. So it yeah. hasn't had a spanner for two days. So so we just wanted to pretty much cane it. Cane it. All right. Let's so, get into it. Um,